Greetings Internet and welcome to Aaron Plays and I hope you're feeling fantastically well. In this episode I'll be continuing my Mariners board of Space Corps 2025 to 2300. I think that's the full, yeah, 2300. However, the Mariners board covers 2025 to 2069. We, I feel we're more than halfway through on this board because the deck has shrunk quite a bit. If you haven't seen the previous episode, please do so because then you'll understand why the, the, the deck has shrunk quite a bit. Um, the competition isn't proving to be very competitive at the present moment. Um, it could be just the way their cards have drawn out, but they haven't really established any bases as yet. And it's my go. So let's go down to the map. Let's see what's going on to continue this game. Just a brief recap. Okay, current score. I'm up there and they're down there. I can't read the exact numbers. I'm about on 10, I think, and they're on two. I fulfilled two contracts. They're part of the way through that contract. Deck-wise, that's the discard pile, and that's what's left of the deck. Remember, the game will end, or this board will end. Once that deck is empty, I will get one more turn, or six of the seven contracts are fulfilled. That's the more likely, but I don't want to burn the deck. I want to do a bit more on this board, so I might slow down with gaining cards however i haven't got many i've only got two so what do i actually want to do with my action okay i think yeah <laughs> it's difficult actually because i don't want to burn the deck but i need the cards from here to do things. What's the actual place a discovery tile on an empty site getting gain any immediate rewards? Useful. But that will deplete that deck. So as my action, I am going to move one of my teams because I want the spaceport. To build a spaceport, I need to be on a Lagrange point. So I'm going to go to the one Lagrange point they don't actually have, which is here. So to move him from here to the Lagrange point is one to come out of uh, off Earth, plus two for gravity is three, plus that one point is four, plus that one to land is five. I have in my infrastructure, in my HQ, I have an inbuilt three, four, five, six move. So that requires no cards to play. The plan is I want to build a spaceport here. And to build here, I need to build two. I have only got, I've got to build two here. Okay. Then it tells me, so that's my action. It says draw a card if four or less in hand. I want to see if that's a mandatory or I can choose on that one. No, it doesn't use the word may, so uh, it doesn't say it must, but it says draw a card. So I'll, I'll draw a card. I like that one. I can play two turns in a row. So that's quite a good card. So I will keep that in my mitts. Well, I have no choices in my mitts. Back to the competition. And they get Cypheus, Cypheus. Okay, so again, they're spreading themselves. There's no base on Cypheus, so we know that means they place a team there. As yet, they haven't built a base. That's their action done. Back to me. Hmm, let's just do that a little bit. There we go. What am I going to do now? I want to build a base there. So the Lagrange point, and it requires a build two. So that's my action is build. That card gets discarded. 
and I build and I'm building a spaceport. Okay, so that's what that team does. And that I've now got still two cards, so I draw a card. Okay, starting to get a few more of these weird cards. We'll go through what they mean as and when. Back to the opposition. They've got offers one. I see this is they're, they're burning through the deck. Offers one, two, and four, and it's got the research symbol on it. So they will get a victory point for one, two, and four. <laughs> no, they don't. It's in card three slot. <laughs> One, two, and four. If any of them are research card, what four? They would get points. It's not. It's in the third slot. They get nothing. But it's burning that deck. I can't get that produce section. So, mm. remember if any of these are edge cards? They're not. Okay. That's them done. So again, they lose out on points. Because yeah, they would have got two points if that had been right. So anyway, that's neither near or there. Um, okay, so I've got a card that says, place a discovery tile on an empty site, gaining gain any immediate rewards. So place a discovery on an empty site. Near space probe, so space probe. Okay, so I could place a discovery tile here, it's an empty site, or here and here, or even on Hayley's Comet. Let's see what else it doesn't say. Any restriction on that place, a discovery tile on an empty site, gain any immediate rewards, but I obviously haven't got a base or anything there. Hmm. Okay. I'm gonna use. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna go for Demos. So it's an E1 tile. We found water on Demos. I gain a talent. Just a reminder: a talent is a trillion credits because I find it easier to say it, and I'll keep on wanting to say it. So there we go. A talent is one trillion credits. So I gain the immediate benefit there of water. Interesting. And that was the play of. That card there. Place a discovery tile on an empty site, gain any immediate rewards. And that, that's my action done. So I'm not playing it as a move two. And that's classed as a special action. Okay, back to the opposition. Remember, I'm trying not to burn the board. Okay, oh, but he's insisting on it. Offers one, three, and four, and it's got the build symbol. So at least we know that one, three, and four, one of them does have the build symbol. So I think that gives him two talents. Let's go and find out. No, it's only one, one per matching. So if that, if that one had been one of the ones that could remove, they would have got two, but they, they get one. But that's again, another three cards gone. So they are obviously wanting to build, well, I can't say obviously it's what the deck randomly is giving, but they're burning the deck because I am well down on cards here. All right, this is an edge. So the edge is done first. It's going up the top there, but it was not now. Salvage. What does the edge card salvage give them? Okay, salvage, salvage, salvage. The competition gains one T. One talent, then discards all start cards from the offers. I don't think there are any, there are none. Replenish empty offers. So it gains a talent, so that takes them to four. And then that card is gone. Next one. Next one. And next one. I, mean, I think it's what, there's one left. I think this game is going to end very quickly. Okay, back to me. 
Only two contracts fulfilled. I've got three, four, five, six moves. And I've got a spaceport. What does the spaceport give me? The active player may have each team moving that begins at a spaceport gain move two. Allows team transport to or from the site. Okay. I'm thinking about this, the, the beyond. So to move this guy, start the spaceport, he, he starts with a move two, and I've got three, four, five, six on my HQ. So that gives me eight move. How much will it cost me to get here to the asteroid belt? So it would be one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven. I said it costs ten from Earth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Okay. I don't have to worry about Earth gravity, but I have to land in the asteroid boat. So it's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's going to be nine. Now I've got three, four, five, six. I'm going to play this three, move three card. That'll get me out, out there, which means I get the first beyond marker. Then I have to draw a card. <laughs> so that empties the deck. So this is what I've got. So I'm going to get one more turn. So we might as well do the competition's turn. See what it does. Luna. It can't go to Luna, so that's a discard. North Mars. So it gets a team onto North Mars. But that's not going to do them any good because my action will finish off the turn. So what can I do? I could play one of these guys as infrastructure and complete that contract. I don't think I'm going to be able to fulfill any other contract. I've got bases in three regions. Four Lagrange bases? No. Four non-Lagrange bases. I've got three Lagrange bases, non-Lagrange bases. I can't build another base in one turn. So I am going to claim, I could produce with this and get two more monies. Or I, that's a good decision. What will happen here, let's, let's have a closer look at this contracts board. All right, there's only two contracts fulfilled. What happens when we go to the next map, Planeteers, these markers will stay here, but we fulfill the contracts on here. So if this contract gets fulfilled, bases on four sites, this marker will move up and it'll be worth three plus two. It'll be worth five talents. So the one I'm thinking of fulfilling is this with that card so that would be in my three cards in my infrastructure or do i just leave that spare don't claim that and do a produce which will give me the same amount anyway and then try and claim that that one there later on the later board. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to do produce one on, let's get some from the exo microbes. This, no, that's only worth P1. We might as well get it from here, from the refinery on the, on, on the moon. P1, because of the refinery makes that P2. I'm only producing from one area, so that's that, that area. I get two more talents. 
and then that's that card gone. And that ends this board. So let's go through the process of setting up the next one. So going through what's called end of an era, continuing play. At the conclusion of the Mariners or Plan Planteers era, so we're at the end conclusion of the Mariners, prepare for the next era by conducting the following steps in the order. So step one, competition bonus production. The competition gains X talents where X is equal to the competition base discovery bet. They haven't discovered anything. They've got lots of teams out, but they never actually made a full sequence. So they've got nothing. Legacy product. You may choose one discovery tile on the board that has a P value and is accompanied by one of your bases. So I could take this one or this one. I'm going to take the moons and this sits on my board over here let me show you over here so this sits here legacy production we have this on the moons so it will produce for me on the next board if i get one of those produce cards remove both the discovery tile and the base from the board and place them in the legacy production which i've just done this tile base pair can continue to produce in the next era exactly as if it were on the site on the current board. If there's already a tile base pair in your legacy production box from a previous era, so if we're playing the Planeteers, remove it. Cards played as infinite remain, they remain on there. Remove from the play area all other era cards and competition cards from wherever they are. So I will be removing all these. And all these is they're, they're done. So let's put that over there, that there, and also the cards that were in my hand. Okay, done that. Playing pieces. Remove all playing pieces from the board. Return your teams and bases to the holding box on your HQ. So my two teams go back to my board is this there's four teams on there then these two bases are returned so we have an industrial and we have the spaceport there and set aside competition teams and bases for now so let's remove all their teams from the board there they are So that's our competition teams and bases for now. Put removed discovery tiles back in the box. These are the discovery tiles. So these are going to go back in the box. I'm going to put them in a pile there, but they will go back in the box. If the first Beyond Marker was still on the board, set it aside. It wasn't. I got it. Right. Business display. Leave the business display where it is. Remove competition teams from the display, which I did. Profit markers and the orange contract for fill markers remain in their current position as I described earlier. Board, replace the current board with the next board. Swap Mariners for Planeteers or pla flip Planeteers to Starfarers. Okay, so let me go and get the board. So this is the new map. So we've got the inner solar system here. So that's where we currently are. And then we start expanding out. So you've got the asteroid belt, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune and then Pluto and then the as they call it the Oort cloud which takes you out of the Kuiper belt into interstellar space so this is uh, as I said the planeteers and I've got to set it up accordingly but also with this there is now what we call a sideboard so this is the reverse side of the Mariners map which has this on it well, that's the light going for a Burton. Pack it up. Technical issues. There we go. Don't tip. So we have this. Now this is going to sit beside this board. So I'm going to have to reconfigure everything I've got here. So I'm not setting this up in this video. But this here has progress cards on it. 
which I'll describe in detail as and when we go through the, the next video. But this board will be set up with these cards on these spaces, which gives us adaptions to our using that genetics card allows us to adapt our actual physical bodies. And we've also got breakthroughs in technology as well on here. So using actions to actually gain these abilities. So whenever you use an opponent's info or base, it's, it's got the cooperative empathy. So I've got to check what which ones of these are available yeah, low, low body mass, so you can move further because your mass of your body is not being affected so much. So I need to go through the see which ones of these apply for the solo game. But that board sits to the side, it's the, and it's the reverse of the Mariners board, it's on the reverse side. So I'm going to have both of these boards probably sitting side by side on this board here, and then my the contracts and my HQ probably sitting. Oh, I might have these here, have my HQ here, and then the contracts sitting to the side. But that's not going to be in the shooting of this video. So, but that was the next stage was do the board, which we've sort of done. And then it tells me what to do. Business play, but yeah, board. Sideboard, if you're finishing the Mariners, flip the Mariners. We've just done a new era. If you've finished the Mariners, it pro proceed with the, the Planeteers setup. And then there's a whole setup procedure in the book here, which I say I'll, I will do in the next video. I just want to show you the, the transition that we're getting ready for. Um, got two big decks of cards, all ready to go. So, yeah. Current scores on the doors, I'm at 13 talents to the competitions four. They didn't have a good start. They spread themselves too thin. Let's bring this back up. So that's, that's it. We've gone through the Mariners board in, in its entirety and how to end an era. I've shown you the, the new board that's coming up the contracts, my HQ. Um, yeah, the, 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 that's probably the worst I've ever seen. And, and I am talking from a long time ago, the competition do. Um, though I do remember them scoring a lot of points in the staff errors, i.e. the third map, third year. So yeah, I'm probably gonna do two videos again for the Planeteers. And then two or three for the because the Star Fair is is by far well, by far by the more time required on that board. So yeah, I enjoyed that. Um, I, I actually wish the competition was giving me a bit more competition, though it did burn through that deck rapidly with all the the, the offer cards it's got. I don't know. I haven't analysed. I never intend to analyse these decks. In any of the games that I had to see exactly what the breakup or the amount is. I like being just seeing what happens. Did you have fun? I did. And I hope you did too. So until next time, play games, have fun, get this to the table if you've got it. Get the game if you haven't. I think it's well worth getting. It does work very well multiplayer. More so two three four i've played it with all numbers again back in 2018 maybe 19 and it worked um so yeah and as you can see it works well the competition hopefully being a bit better it does work solo i'm playing this through all the games and then i'm going to play through it again but with, with adding the ventures expansion and see how that modifies from what I've read, the AI or the competition plays a lot meaner game. So looking forward to that. But again, walk before you run. Until next time, Internet. Bye.